Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the properties of absolute value. So in your notebook, please put down the subtitle, Properties of Absolute Value. We're going to be looking at what you're allowed to do with absolute value, and at the very end, what you're not allowed to do. So let's start with the first property. The first property is kind of trivial, but I want to write it down anyways. The first property states the following. The absolute value of a number x always gives a positive result, or zero if x was zero. Quick example. The absolute value of negative 5 would give 5, and the absolute value of positive 4 also gives positive 4. There's no exception to this rule. The absolute value of anything will always give you a positive result. Here's the second property. The second property is also kind of obvious and states the following. The absolute value of a number will always equal the absolute value of the opposite of that number. Here's a quick example of this. Suppose I ask you, what is the absolute value of 6? Well, this property says that this will also equal the absolute value of negative 6. And the result of both of those is positive 6. Why? Because both 6 and negative 6 are 6 units away from 0. Well, so far, these two properties have been kind of boring because they're pretty obvious. The third property gets a little bit more interesting. The third property is the absolute value of a product. And that states that the absolute value of two numbers multiplied together is the same as taking the two numbers apart and each one receiving its own absolute value. So the absolute value of x times y is equal to the absolute value of x times the absolute value of y. Let's take a look at a quick example of this in action. Suppose I ask you to calculate for me the value of absolute value of 2 multiplied by negative 7. Now if you do it without changing anything, this is the same as asking you, what is the absolute value of negative 14? And the absolute value of negative 14 is 14. Now, using this property, the absolute value of 2 times negative 7 can be rewritten as the absolute value of 2 multiplied by the absolute value of negative 7. And that gives you 2 multiplied by 7, which is again 14. So this is what is known as the absolute value of a product. And finally, the fourth property of absolute value is just as interesting as the third one. The fourth one is the absolute value of a quotient. And that property states that the numerator and the denominator can be pulled apart and each one receives its own absolute value. So in other words, the absolute value of x over y should equal to the absolute value of x over the absolute value of y. Here's a quick example to show this in action. Suppose I asked you to calculate for me what is the value of absolute value of negative 6 divided by 3. Well, if you do this without changing anything, this simplifies to what is the absolute value of negative 2, and that equals to 2. Now, if you were to do the same example using the property, then the absolute of negative 6 divided by 3 
can be rewritten as the absolute value of negative 6 divided by the absolute value of 3. And that gives you 6 divided by 3, which again gives you 2. And these are the four main properties of absolute value. Now, along with these four properties, there is one humongous danger. So, in your important color, I would like you to put danger. And a danger involves the following. The absolute value of two numbers being added or subtracted together. Some people may believe that this can equal to the absolute value of one number plus or subtract the other number. But in fact, this is actually wrong. They are not equal to each other. And here's a very quick example to prove to you that this will not always work. Suppose I asked you to calculate the following. Absolute value of negative 3 plus 5. Now, I'm going to prove to you that this does not equal to the absolute value of negative 3 plus the absolute value of 5. Observe. On the left side, when we simplify, we get the absolute value of 2. And the absolute value of 2 is equal to 2. Now, on the right side, when we simplify it, we get 3 plus 5, and that equals to 8. And you can see very clearly that the left side does not equal the right side. So be very careful about this particular danger. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all there is to the properties of absolute value.